please tell us a little about yourself and how you got started in cybersecurity. Aaron Ferguson, I'm originally from Brooklyn, New York. The biggest things that kind of started my trajectory, the principal of my eighth grade school suggested that I take a test in engineering high school. Did you like doing math and science in school? Um, I didn't necessarily fall in love with math and science, but I was good at it. How did you know you wanted to be in cybersecurity? Eventually, I went to Howard University, and after Howard, I worked for the Naval Undersea Warfare Center. And can you please describe your job? So I used to do software development. Went to grad school, got a master's while I was working for the Department of Navy, but then I really wanted to teach. And um, I was able to find a job at the University of Delaware, where I was able to work full-time and go to grad school full-time and work on my doctorate. And what is it like to be working for the NSA? So my, my trajectory once I got to NSA is, and any successes that I have has is, is really been um, through having really strong mentors, really those telling me what opportunities to pursue, what jobs to take, you know, how to really navigate the organization. I'm a, a senior executive in the government, and that's been just a total blessing. And one of my primary roles is really creating opportunities for others and doing things like this, reaching out to the, to the youth to explain to them that just be curious. And, you know, curiosity is needed in lots of different disciplines other than just math and science. But, you know, what I do is STEM. What are the top fields of cybersecurity? So I think the, the top fields would be anything dealing with data science. It's really looking at data to understand human behavior, and human intentions, human thought processes. So anything with data science. Software development is going to continue to be another field where people are being asked to write applications. Um, <clears throat> one of the, I think, surges that's going to happen as a result of COVID-19 is that a lot of corporations are going to be developing apps to deal with customers who won't come into the store. And so they're going to need software developers. Um, computer science, people who understand networking, people who understand, you know, cloud. They need people who understand um, data storage, they need people who understand software development, they need people who understand platforms, so all those different services and integrating all those together, we need software developers to do that. And is the NSA and the CIA the same? CIA is more, um, human is human intelligence. So what I mean by that is they deal with the, you know, spies who interact with other countries and things of that nature. So. The NSA is more signals intelligence, so we deal with anything over the wire, whether it be intercepts, whether it be computers, or things of that nature. Developing applications to defend networks, but also uh, designing applications and technologies to um, infiltrate um, networks of those foreign actors who have bad intentions for the U.S. And by the way, I need to say that's legally authorized by uh, United States Signal Intelligence Directive 18, if you want to Google that. What would be a good roadmap to pursue? So for example, if you're in middle school and there's a robotics club, you know, join a robotics club. In some cases, that may not seem like that's the coolest thing to do, but that's where you get to nurture your curiosity. Math club, or people want to develop apps, there are a lot of free applications on the internet where you can develop your own app. So, you know, get curious, understand how things work, um, do your research so you make sure that, you know, you know what you're talking about. How important are good grades? Good grades are important and find teachers who you can share kind of your dreams with and who will nurture you and give you those opportunities. Because really teachers are going to make all the difference in the world. I mean, so find teachers, share with those teachers your interests and help ask them to help you find those opportunities. Who could help me get started? If you have brothers or sisters or cousins who've gone to college, and are majoring in computer science or electrical engineering or any of those fields, talk to them. What is it like? It's going to be really cool to be smart. And, you know, there's a there's a notion that, you know, you don't want to be seen as a brainiac, and, you know, all the, the negative um, aspects of that. But um, you could do it. I mean, I'm telling you, I could do it. You can do it. I was not the, you know, smartest kid in the class all the time. Definitely not in college. And I had to work really, really hard, but it really paid off. And um, now I definitely appreciate it. So don't be scared of challenges and ask people to help you pursue your dreams because people are out there and they want to help. And what would be some good STEM career ideas for students? 
I talk to kids about pursuing opportunities and careers in computer science and engineering. I just want to say that if you think it's too hard, or uh, you don't think you're good in math, then you're a good candidate to major in STEM and pursue cybersecurity and things of that nature because it, it's all mental, right? You're just speaking to your mental aspect of it. You can do it. it may, you may have to work harder, but that's what it's going to take. So those of you who think you can't do it, you probably can. And, and I'm pretty confident if you put in the work, you'll do it.